Welcome to Roughing It with Ruth, the channel where everything is a bit rough around the edges. In this video, I'm going to talk about the Michalisburg area as well as the Mountain Club of South Africa, who is a big landowner in the Michalisburg area. They have several different properties that you can go to to do climbing and hiking activities. And I'm going to just explain how you can get access to those properties because not just anybody can go there. You can't just walk in there or pitch up unexpectedly. All of the footage that you see in this video is going to be from a recent trip that I did to Groot Kloof in the Michalisburg mountains. It translates into big gorge or big canyon. So first of all, the Mountain Club of South Africa is a national organization. So they are over the whole of South Africa and they're divided up into sections depending on location. If you are thinking of joining, then you just need to find the one that is most local to you. The Mountain Club of South Africa is also quite a big landowner. They actually purchase properties with the purpose of conserving those natural areas and also providing a venue for people to do outdoor activities. But it is really important to remember that all of these properties, you cannot just pitch up at those properties. You do have to apply for a permit in advance and the number of permits that they will give out for a specific property is limited per day. And the reason that they do that is to conserve that natural area. Sometimes the properties that they own are in very sensitive biomes like the Michalisburg Mountains and having too many people in that area can cause a lot of erosion and a lot of damage to the natural area. Some of the properties that the Mountain Club of South Africa owns in Michalisburg include places like dome pools, Grootkloof, Khlabatini, Lower and Upper Tonkwani, which is near the Mountain Sanctuary Park venue. And all of those properties, if you want to go and hike at them, you have to contact the Mountain Club of South Africa to apply for a permit. Some of the properties you will need to contact the Johannesburg section of the Mountain Club of South Africa, and some of the properties you will need to contact the Michalis section of the Mountain Club of South Africa. You'll just be able to look online and see which properties they give out permits for, because each section becomes responsible for a certain number of properties. The other way that you can hike at those properties is to become a member of the Mountain Club of South Africa. So you join the Mountain Club of South Africa, you will belong to a specific section and you will be given a membership card and every year you will need to renew that membership and different sections will have different rules for joining and will expect you to do slightly different things as a member. I think it is also really important to mention that the Michalisburg properties specifically that the Mountain Club owns, they try not to put up too much infrastructure or to change the natural landscape too heavily. So sometimes there are not ablution facilities and the trails on the property will not be marked. Sometimes there isn't even really a trail to follow. So you are going to need to be able to navigate. When you apply for a permit, you will be sent a map along with your permit. And if you can't read that map and you can't navigate, then that is going to be really difficult and potentially even dangerous. Some of the properties are quite technical, like they have a lot of rocks or scrambling areas or places where you could fall and really hurt yourself. Some of the properties have fairly deep pools and rivers where you could drown if you can't swim. So you do need to be careful when you go and visit these properties and realize that they are in as wild a state as they can be. They're not really developed. They don't have restaurants or anything like that. The areas of property that the Mountain Club owns are also often in fairly sensitive biomes. So you definitely do need to remember not to litter and to 
practice good toilet manners. So depending on what property you're visiting, you will get instructions about that with your permit, whether you need to pack out your poop or whether you can bury it and exactly how you should do that. There are also a small number of other ways that you could hike at the properties that the Mountain Club owns. They do co-own some of the properties with other organizations. So for instance, Castle Gorge, the Mountain Club is one of the owners of Castle Gorge, but so is the Johannesburg Hiking Club. And the Johannesburg Hiking Club is actually the organization that is responsible for giving out permits for Castle Gorge specifically. That's another property in the Michalisburg. But in general, you can only access the properties if you are a member of the Mountain Club or if you apply for a permit. The permits do cost a little bit of money per person and then you will be sent things like the code in order to get into the property as well as other things like the map and the rules for that area such as the toilet manners that you need to follow while you're there. But if you do manage to get a permit or you are a member of the Mountain Club, then hiking at the properties that the Mountain Club owns is so worthwhile. I cannot tell you how incredibly beautiful our trip to Grootkloof was. I do think that Grootkloof is not a beginner-friendly hike. It is very difficult terrain to move over, particularly if you're planning on doing kloofing in the river. Kloofing, I guess, would translate as canyoning, sort of boulder hopping in the riverbed up or down the river. That is actually quite tough, but very beautiful. I'm also going to just touch on the security situation in the Michalisburg. If you've been following what's been going on, then you'll know that at the end of 2023, at the end of December, there were some really scary security incidents in the Michalisburg where people were actually sort of kidnapped they were approached by armed criminals who then kind of took them hostage and forced them to transfer funds to these criminals. Quite a large amount of money was stolen from them. And this wasn't just one incident. I believe there were three or four separate incidents of this happening to people. And the Mountain Club of South Africa, as well as other landowners in the area and the Johannesburg Hiking Club and several other stakeholders have been taking lots of steps to try and mitigate the risk of this sort of criminal activity happening on their properties. And I think it is really important to talk about that because perhaps if you are not aware of it, you might think that it's just completely okay to go and hike there on your own and at the moment it is not okay to go and hike there on your own. The Mountain Club of South Africa and the Johannesburg Hiking Club have opened up their properties again. They did close them for a while to everybody. Now they have opened them up but they are recommending that you hike in a larger group. I think the recommendation at the moment is 10 people. I'm hoping that very soon the security situation in Michalisburg will be better. I did previously hike in Michalisburg on my own, but I do not do that any longer, and I'm not actually sure if I would ever do that again. I would also just like to thank all of the people that came with me on this trip. We were actually a group of seven people, so it was myself and my husband Ralph, and then the trip was actually led by one of the Mountain Club committee members of the Michalisburg section called Andrew. He did a great job. It was really nice walking with him. And then there was also Megan and Waldu and Albert and Phil Yun. It was great hiking with all of you and thank you so much for all of your help. I was definitely the shortest person on the trip so when we did have to do some scrambling I did really struggle sometimes to reach the handholds and I would not have been able to do it without a lot of help from everybody else. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you would like to see more from me, then you can click on my channel name to see videos that I've made in the past, or you can subscribe to my channel to see videos that I'm going to make in the future. Yeah, the weather is really pulled in. Yo! Can't outrun the rain. <laughs> <laughs>